Okay, I may have an account, um, I haven't, but uh, I might have an account that is limited to only one photograph on uh, on eBid. Um, I'm limited to one that has uh, five photographs, but I don't want to be limited. So um, here's a way of uh, putting many photographs, as many as you want, onto your eBid listing for free. Hey, you're not breaking any rules, it's only self-hosting. Um, and there's an easy way to do it. You don't have to know any any FTPing or anything like that, or any coding. It does it all for you. It's all, it's very clever. So the first thing you want to do is um, register for an account with Photobucket. Um, it's a standard uh, standard thing. It's all free, um, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, when you uh, register, which is very simple, you don't have to put your name and well, you don't have to put your address in or anything, but um, when you first register you'll come to this page, the next page you'll come to is this. Now what they want you to do is press the next button which is obviously a payment button for this pro uh, option so you go no thanks. Um, this is the page you'll come to and um, what the, the first thing you need to do um, and I'll tell you about this later is you need to go into account settings and you need to go down to images link back to album and click that off and then go to the top and save I'll tell you why in a minute now uh, the next thing you want to do is go to all albums you can add uh, you, oh, sorry, I should, we shouldn't have gone to add a new album should we should have gone to my home oh well there we go. Upload images. Okay, so I'm going to press upload images, and this is uh, uh, these are the images I want to do. They're in a directory that I've created. Uh, it was this an old directory I used to be on eBay. Um, these are the nine images I want to pick up. This is on my computer. So these are the um, the photos that I've put on my computer. Um, you can search to where the photos are in here. So this is what you want to do. You want to le uh, left click on one, sh hold the shift button down, and then left click again, and it selects the whole lot. And then it will upload your photos. It's pretty quick. Now, we had to go into account settings um, to click off that box uh, because we don't want um, we don't want uh, people clicking on your photographs in eBid and coming to your album here. Well, I don't anyway. You might, but I don't. So I, I have this al this thing switched off. But we still have to take some code out in a minute anyway. So anyway, that's done. The next thing you do is you get this page here. Now the thing is, is the best thing about this part is you can add a title and description. Now you might think, well, what use is that on a photograph? But you could put in here, for sale on eBid. And then you could put the eBid number in, your eBid um, account, um, the, the actual uh, item number. So you could use this um, as a marketing tool because this will start showing up in Google Images and when people click on that image they'll be able to see this item is for sale if you can be bothered to do it. But anyway, we've, we've got that. Now we have to save that because this is in a state at the moment that isn't saved to the, uh, to the computer and here we are. So the, these are the these are the photos in your album and now we need to select them. Now if you had an album full of photos you would select them individually and just the ones you wanted but on, as this album has got nothing else in but these I can select them all. Now I want to generate HTML code down here and it's going to generate the code for me to put into eBid and it even gives you it here look, says, oh, look it's done it for eBay wow so left click on there right click copy now I could paste this straight into eBid but it will still link back to eBid uh, to, to Photobucket it'll, fo it'll go back to the Photobucket main page it won't come to your, uh, your site but um, I don't want that so I've copied it and now I want to go to Word. Now you can use, you can do this in any um, uh, editor, any uh, any uh, Word editor you, you can do this in. So what I'll do is paste this in here. There's the code that uh, Photobucket has given me. 
and what I want to do is get rid of this tag here this tag is always there and I want to get rid of it so I want to go edit replace brings this up here I don't want that bit and I want to select this bit here between there so just that bit between those two chevrons select that and copy in here you can't go right click paste you have to go control V which pasted in there and I'm going to replace it all with a blank so I'm going to replace all with nothing and there you go it's made nine replacements and it's cut your code down there you go so it's cut that out I don't need that anymore so I can select this now and that's the code I actually want copy now I can go to the auction now I've created a little dummy auction here with a photo code in here and that's where I want to put the photo code you have to go to source and in that part where you've got the photo code paste that code and there it is it's as simple as that now if you go back to source and then I'll go back to uh, HTML or source you can go to so and there they are and there's your nine photos which uh, EBID will accept no problem at all and I think that's it so uh, if you've got any uh, any queries on this or if I haven't uh, if I've missed something out or I've done it too fast let me know and I'll, I'll do it again